The U.S. economy is largely based on science and engineering industries, but some experts say many schools don't have the tools to produce the quality scientists our economy needs. A doctor at Mayo Clinic is trying to change that. He's bringing teachers and students into his lab so they can work together to develop new curriculum. And this new line of study is all based on a tiny creature called the zebrafish. All right, come on in, guys. Professor Steven Ecker and his research team are using zebrafish to encourage future scientists. Our so-called pipeline of scientists in, from the U.S. system is almost empty. Professor Ecker says the fact that fewer scientists are coming out of the school system is a major problem. This is the yolk. And part of the issue is that resources are just not available for teachers. They don't have the science curriculum to teach. They don't have the science materials to teach. They don't have the active learning modules. And what they do have is often outdated. Professor Ecker's solution is to bring scientists, teachers, principals, and students into the Ecker Zebrafish Lab at Mayo Clinic to develop learning modules to take back to the classroom. We want to hook them on to lifelong learning and get them to explore on their own, because that's what science is, exploring. Because science is a living, breathing, growing, changing thing. Their week in the lab is a real role reversal where teachers are learning and students are teaching. We are looking at an embryo of a zebrafish. Professor Ecker says by studying zebrafish, kids can learn about biology, ecology, physics, engineering, even genetics. But if we switch it over to the red, then you can see all of the blood actually coursing through the fish. Because when they enter high school, they're going to be a different class of science. Professor Ecker plans to make the learning modules available to school districts nationwide. After the K through 8 modules are done, he'll focus on high school curriculum. The money for this project comes from the NIH and private funders. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.